Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Boss Fight Studios, Bucky O'Hare, Storm Toad Trooper. And I want to do a huge shout out to Nathan Simmons, aka the Syndicate Santa Claus. He ended up snagging me one of these guys, um, both actually me and him, pre-ordered these guys from Megalopolis City of Collectibles from their website during Black Friday as they had a sale on these guys. And you couldn't beat them, I wanted one. And then Nate surprised me with another one, which I was tempted to get to anyway. So it just happened to work out. And as you can see, this guy, everything about this packaging is phenomenal. Uh, Boss Fight Studios does amazing work. If you're not familiar with it, definitely I'm going to link up anything Boss Fight Studios, their Instagram, if they have one, and YouTube, all that, all their website. Check out their work. Amazing artist. They actually have... Uh, Access, I do believe, to Sam and Max license now. So we're going to be getting some Sam and Max if you're uh, familiar with that. But it, it's it's gorgeous. The artwork, everything about it, beautiful. Let's get it to focus. Really awesome card artwork. And it, has, it picks up glare because this is a whole plastic coating over these. we got like the comic art right there. And I grew up with Bucky O'Hare. Like I remember the cartoon, playing some of the video games, and it's uh it, it it's awesome. So we get more artwork on the back of, from the comic and everything. Just looks so good. And then also these are the other ones. I wouldn't mind getting a hold of a uh, Bucky O'Hare. Um, I think I'll probably end up trying to snag one of him, but you can see. All the other characters. So they got the stealthy mission. They also did a uh, Easter one where he was like a chocolate bunny. So that one's out there. They made a couple different ones of Dead Eye Duck. And uh, here we get a little bit of a bio. So pause it if you'd like to read that. Let me get some uh, credit over here to the card art, the writer, package design, all that good stuff. So again, Boss Fight Studios, you guys do amazing work. And before I actually get this guy out of his prison, um, you can see some of the items were loose, his hands and stuff. Not a big deal. And uh, I am a open box collector. But what's great about this for you on card collectors, the design of this package has the plastic around where you actually can just, you know, slide the card backing out and... Uh, Take the figure trays out, pop it all out, mess around with the figure a little bit, display them or whatnot, or you can just put them back in the package, hang them up or whatnot, because on the back, you do get the, the hanging tag part right here. So let's go ahead and get this toad out of the package. So the Storm Toad Trooper does not disappoint out of the package. I, I, I sort of messed with them a little bit, checking out the articulation. I, I really, really like this figure. And he comes with a bunch of accessories. So he comes with the trigger finger, uh, double trigger finger hands equipped in the package. But, you know, they do some awesome work by giving us more hands. So we get the nice, expressive, open palm hands. And look at the sculpt detail into that. Looks very, very nice. Get a little bit of paint on there. Just overall, like, sculpt work. Looks great. So these are good for a lot of different expressions, stopping, all that good stuff. So love open-handed hands. And then we get another one, which is a pointing hand. Just love how they can take a 2D character and make it 3D. It's still, every which way I rotate this hand, it still looks uh, looks great. So those are the hands. Now we do get into having a alternate head. This, this head's honestly has a little like wart on the bottom. The head is awesome. Like it's got the gum showing on one side, gritted down on the other. It almost needs like a cigar or something. But the amount of paint got the different shades going on where it's fading. From, like it's really light here and it fades into the darker like creamy green eyes look good he has a little hook like 
thing like that in his head. Both heads do. And that is because the helmet can come off, but he also comes with a military cap. It's got a little bit of silver on there. It's a little bit oversprayed at the top. Then we get the sculpted in details for the little tabby things or whatever you want to do that. The adjuster. We get some more metallic paint on that side. And this thing, I mean, I put the hat on to him and it fits on there. You have to sort of work with it a little bit to get it to pop in. But like ideally you'd want the hat to sort of fit like that. But if you push it all the way down to fit into its little hole, it's really, really squish down so i'm not too sure how it's supposed to be maybe it'll look different on the other head but i mean that's with like out having a massive gap but i mean if you lift it up like that where you can see his eyes you have that gap in there so i'm not too sure how that's supposed to be so we get a hat we get an alternate head then we get weapons 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 so we get a magenta pistol with the hole in it it's got a little bit deeper hole where the barrel is looks great and it's made out of a nice hard plastic too but sculpt looks great and it pays homage to the original then we get into his main big gun has a lot of textures going on laser rifle looking really really nice doesn't have the hole in the barrel but still just looks gritty nice i like it now a really cool thing is this part pops off i don't know what else what you could use this for i mean while i'm holding it and looking at it on camera it's definitely flaccid but uh like i was thinking that if you use the gun if you could use this as a silencer or something of that nature not really the case it doesn't really plug into anything else so that was sort of like where else could this be maybe let's plug into here Nope, I'm afraid I'll break it if I try to cram it into little holes. So I think it's just a pump part that comes off because we get a alternate, really sculpted, painted very beautifully. I love the silver. Look at that. That sickle's just sick. Looks so good. So maybe this part, how it's sort of designed is before extract. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to make sense of it, but this plugs in like so. So you got yourself the a bayonet which is awesome, just makes it so menacing, or just to have him hold this thing, because it's, I, I love it, I love that silver, beautiful work, beautiful, beautiful work, so that's the accessories, <laughs> now we can get into the figure, and the figure feels nice in hand, this studio knows what they're doing when they're making toys, and they know how to make quality toys, look at the gold paint, it's gold paint, it's gold, it looks great, they they don't they don't deal with any of this here let me use a plastic that's uh looks like macaroni and cheese color and no they they painted this stuff gold like all out so it looks good and you got all these little pegs which if you have uh we're looking at the weapons yes you can peg the weapons on all those different belt pegs and position it and just you know set them up how you want it's your figure that's the great thing about it. This is a separate rubbery like harness piece. Has a little bit of give to it. I love the just the just the whole suit. Looks great. Um, definitely, my eye goes straight to the helmet. Helmet in the face. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And besides this part that my eye goes to, my other part was going straight to these like boots. Just remind me of some German tanker boots. Got like the studded little nubs. Or just the studs, I guess. <laughs> Looks great. But articulation-wise, um, he has a lot of articulation. Um, the helmet, you can see the eyes. And the helmet does come off. So you just pop it off. You can see the little part in there. And that's what he looks like with that hat. Or with that hat. With this head. It's not a hat. This is a head. But actually, speaking of hat, let me pop this on, see if it looks better on this one. I mean, it still does the same thing if you push it down all the way. I mean, I guess it's not bad. I mean, it's a hat and it's supposed to be covering his eyes from sun and stuff, and it definitely is. 
Definitely not bad. Articulation on this guy. His head can look down that much. His head can look up quite a bit. So you get some nice range of articulation going on in the head. You know, you get a lot of, you can do some attitude, you know, just full on 360. Lots of range out of a figure like this. His arms can go up. The little rubbery parts don't hinder it too bad. And he has a elbow joint and it rotates at the elbow. Um, just to sort of show you too. Oops. Well, you can sort of see how it's all put together. The part goes on. Lots of pegging in spots. And let me fix this because I don't think that was supposed to pop off. So I had to make sure his arm was on there right because I just um, I, I get OCD like that. Um, but if stuff pops off, they pop back in. That's the nice thing what I was trying to show about the figure. I was trying to pop the elbow out because that's a peg that goes in. But you get the elbow bend. You get the rotation at the elbow. You get the wrist rotation as well. No bend though. It's just a peg that rotates. But very, very nice figure. I like it. That posability. Um, we do get a little bit of waist swivel. Actually, it can swivel quite a bit, but the belt does sort of hinder it a little bit. So you have to adjust it. But you can see, do we have anything else besides the swivel? Uh, can't really tell. It's going to leave it as a swivel. I don't want to break them. Yeah, it does swivel. The legs themselves, like the hips and stuff, they're very tight. So, like, I can get him to kick out, like, that far, but he doesn't, you can see, he doesn't really do the splits too well. So, it's like his legs, like, these parts are very tight. Now, does everybody, anybody else have any issues with the hips? I mean, you can see that one sort of moves a little bit easier, like, that one. You don't really get, like, the splits and stuff, so it's like, that's the motion. We do get a single jointed knee does pivot at the knee we get a we don't get a boot swivel which i would have thought we would have got a nope no boot swivel but we do get ankle bend a little bit uh lots of pivot going on with that so not not bad not bad for this type of figure a lot lot more articulation than the original releases and with this amount of detail and how well this thing looks i i dig it i dig it a lot Little, little speckle on his tooth you can see there but either way i just really like i mean the, the hat's cool it's a cool little accessory i love the helmet i love the translucent eyes i love how well it just sort of fits and pops right on there it's it's awesome but let me get this guy geared up and see what we can do so the frog is fun to pose and play around with um i have him holding his rifle he has the sickle on his back plugged in. We got the pistol plugged in. So he is pretty much holding all his weapons. Um, one thing I noticed um, besides with the, with the figure, I guess it's easier for them to know which side is what. This has a big R for right. The other one has an L for left. Now, these little gauntlets, I have the hand plugged all in. The gauntlets prevent this from sort of like folding back the way it should to try to get it into a better held position. Um, that's the only thing I would see with the gauntlets that prevent the rifle from really getting nice and snugged up. Like that's sort of close you can get. Like rotate his wrist a little bit. I guess that's all right, but not not horrible. I mean, he holds it really, really well. Really, really well. What are you looking at? You. You. I do like him equipped with the pointy finger with this sickle in his hand. Just because he's just like, he looks so angry. And he's just like, I'm going to slice your throat. Like, I'm going to mess you up. Like, that looks, just looks good. I, I like it. And you use those fun hands and make him, you know, you know, freeze. Put your hands up. Don't move. Do not move. But no, it's 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 fun. Like, I can't... Like, playing and moving this stuff around 
Uh, you can just plug it on any of these. I don't know what that is officially for. I thought the rifle could like connect up on here or something. Not a hundred percent. But I mean with the other you know head on. You need, I wish they had came with like a little plastic or something you could plug into that in case you didn't want them with any helmet or hat on. But I mean it's definitely a cool look for sure. And then it's you can just plug out like that. Get this. And he doesn't really have a trigger hole to put his fan through, but do that like Han Solo pose. But I really, really like these. Like, look at all the stuff all around them and stuff. It. I mean, if if you guys aren't familiar with Boss Fight Studios and what they produce, I mean, this is a really good example of their quality. Like, all their figures um, are this quality. Boss Fight Studios knocking the Bucky O'Hare line out of the park. Sure, the Storm Toad Trooper could have a little bit more articulation, a little bit better articulation. But what you get is still an amazing piece. It looks beautiful. The sculpt's amazing. I, I'm I'm very happy and I'm glad I own two of these. I could see people buying like 15 of these guys and just having a nice regiment of Storm Toad Troopers. These things look so good and you can switch out the arm, the hands and the heads and you have so many possibilities with this figure and it's awesome. And uh, that sums up my unboxing review of Boss Fight Studios, Bucky O'Hare, Storm Toad Trooper. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more as I'm trying to pump out video a day. And I want you guys to uh, make sure you check out Boss Fight Studios. All their links are down below. I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.